I went to college. I went and worked out five hours a day. And I was working on construction. Because in those days in bodybuilding, there was no money. We didn't, I didn't have the money for food supplements or anything. So I had to go to work. So I worked in construction. I went to college, I worked out in the gym and at night from eight o'clock at night to 12 midnight, I went to acting class four times a week. So I did all of that. There was not one single minute that I wasted. And this is why I'm standing here today. At the age of 20, I went to London and I won the Mr. Universe contest as the youngest Mr. Universe ever. And it was because I had a goal. You see, if you don't have a vision of where you go, and if you don't have a goal where you go, you drift around and you never end up anywhere. 74% hate their job in America. The majority of people don't like what they're doing because they're really not doing it because they didn't have a goal and they followed this goal. They just aimlessly drift around and then all of a sudden there's a job opening so they get their job. So people always ask me, when they saw me in the gym in the pumping iron days, they said, why is it that you're working out so hard? Five hours a day, six hours a day, and you have always a smile on your face. The others are working out just as hard as you do, and they look sour in the face. Why is that? And they told people all the time, I said, because to me, I'm shooting for gold. In front of me is the Mr. Universe title. So every rep that I do gets me closer to accomplishing that goal, to make this goal, this vision, turn into reality. Every single set that I do, every repetition, every weight that I lift will get me a step closer to turn this goal into reality. So I couldn't wait to do another 500 pound squat. I couldn't wait to do another 500 pound bench press. I, I could wait to do another 2,000 reps of sit-ups. I couldn't wait for the next exercise. So let me tell you something, visualizing your goal and going after it makes it fun. You've got to have a purpose no matter what you do in life. You've got to have a purpose. Muhammad Ali worked his butt off. And I saw it firsthand. And I remember that there was a sports rider that was there in the gym and he was working out and he was doing sit-ups. And they asked him, how many sit-ups do you do? And he said, I don't start counting until it hurts. Now think about that. He doesn't start counting his sit-ups until he feels pain. That's when he starts counting. That is working hard. And so you can't get around the hard work. It doesn't matter who it is. Work your ass off.